Right, what's up guys so basically I am um, took off my camera the helmet and I decided to record a quick video to show you guys how I mount the camera to the helmet so it's a very simple process well, this is a GoPro it the process is pretty much the same for all action cameras so what I do is I have a curve mount this is a curve mount basically because the face of the, the helmet is curved so you need a curve mount in order to fit on it if you use a straight mount which is this one basically once you put it on you see that there's going to be some gaps between it so it basically not going to sit right on the helmet in addition to everything in regards to what I use to mount the camera so this is the, the case that comes with the GoPro um, what I did was to purchase a set of these this right here this is called a J a J mount so it's shaped like kind of like a J and then this now this is a straight mount I got this I got this in a set that I bought on Amazon I'll put a link right here right now yeah so I got that on Amazon and it kind of broke right here but don't worry so basically I use the J mount along with a little straight mount to give me the perfect angle that you guys basically see on in my videos and this is basically the screw that comes with your GoPro alright so that's basically the setup that I have in regards to the the camera so once I have everything there I just go ahead and just slip it in like that and then yeah so the straight mount gives you that little kind of movement so that the camera can position properly you know to suit your angle if anyone wants to mount a camera to their helmet the best position is the front because your eyes are in front of you so you know that gives you the best the best view some persons mount it to the side and then they use some um, additional mounts to bring it around to the front you can do that as well some would mount it to the top up here but I don't like the top view this by far is the best view all right back to the video so I use a curve mount and normally I would use the 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 double-sided sticky thing that that GoPro or whatever pro, um, provides or whatever that comes with the camera actually but in this case I already have it on this so in this case I don't want to take this off and, and use another one what I'm going to do for this one is to use this this is epoxy <clears throat> so this is type 3 epoxy it's basically rubber epoxy Alright, see so the camera focus, you know, yeah. So the normal process would be basically use the, the sticky, um, the sticky pad here, um, peel off one side, peel off the other side, stick it on to the curve mount like this, and then just stick on the curve mount on the helmet and boom, um, it would be installed. But in this case, doing things different, so we're going to use the epoxy and basically mix the epoxy in this little um, bottle cork and basically mount it on the helmet so I'm going to go ahead and mix this right, so we are going to mix up the epoxy so we have the resin and we have the hardener so you want to mix them 50-50 so that everything you know is, is good to go Oh yes, and remember to clean the surface of the helmet before um, mounting anything on it. So what I do, I have some alcohol in this bottle and I use a little piece of hand towel. Basically spray alcohol on the hand towel and just clean the surface like this. You know, just get it clean so that um, the, the, um, the sticky thing, it sticks on properly. So. I'm going to just leave this like that so no dirt not get on it. First it over there. Then, then we're going to use the epoxy now. Alright. Put a little bit. Don't think I need a lot, but yeah, that. Alright, that's the resin. Cover this back up. And then we have the hardener. 
Boom. Alright, so. Try to get, try to measure it 50-50 mixture. You don't want too much resin and you don't want too much hard now. You want everything to be 50-50. Alright, that looks good. Let me do the cover. Alright, see cover here. Put on this. And it have a little smell. Have a little smell. So basically what we do now is to mix everything. Mix it together like a this. <clears throat> Alright. Um, this usually dries within 4 minutes. So you have to be very quick. Alright. And what I also missed was put this aside of some time what i also miss was whenever you whenever you have to dry fit this what i mean by dry fit is to basically place it on the helmet to ensure that it is properly lined up and it is straight so i already did this before so i know exactly um how to do this and basically you can put the camera in it to see how it would look Straighten up. Alright. So and I use a little marker here to mark the lines on the side. Uh-huh. To make sure so everything, you know, is straight. Alright, we can take this off now. Cover this back up. Alright. So now we take the epoxy. the helmet down like that all right so what I'm going to do now is to basically put the epoxy on the sticky mount first spread it nice and even I think I might have used too little bit of the amount but yeah, I could try and make it work don't Alright, so the type 3 epoxy is basically rubber epoxy. You have type 4, I think type 4 is a steel epoxy. You have type 5. So you have different grades um, of the epoxy. Uh, basically the grade tells you the strength of the epoxy. Everything you know, we as Jamaican do not like waste nothing. Well, at least I don't like to waste anything. So, and I might put some on here as well, mm -hmm. just like that. All right, the epoxy has started to dry basically. So, now all we do, we have everything lined up boom boom we just put the um, camera on the helmet and just hold it down for a good couple minutes just to ensure that everything sticks properly and during this time you can realign it if it's not aligned properly and stuff like that mm -hmm. all right so just gonna hold this for a couple minutes Alright, ensure that you don't, once everything is lined up, ensure that you don't move it. Uh-huh. Oh, it looks, looks good. Alright. So the reason why I took this off before is, um, my camera was a bit lean. And you might not have seen it in the footage, but if you look at it in person, it was lean. And also the, the sticky mount that I had on before, it wasn't um, properly on there. So it was basically moving around. Mm -hmm. all right so we are going to hold this for a couple of minutes and then i'll be right back all right guys so we gave the 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 um epoxy some time to dry so basically we can see that it is mounted turn it sideways and you'll see 
everything is mounted nice and flush yep so this is not going anywhere and I can take off the camera now boom and you will see it right right there yep. And if you guys want to test out the strength of this mount here, you can do so by holding it, look. Yep, and shake it. This thing is not going anywhere, so the epoxy is holding it pretty, pretty good, you know. So, that's how I do it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. Um, deuces, yeah. <laughs>